Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of solving systems of equations. This is standard A.5C in the great state of Texas. and We are using item number 23 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to find the solution to this system of equations. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's many different ways you can do this. If you were to graph both of these, right, one of these might look like this. Another one might graph like this. Really, a solution is going to be right there. You're looking for the intersection point. Now, I've got no idea if that's where it is, but you're looking for where the two lines that are graphed would meet because whatever this x and y is is the only place in which both of those lines intersect which means that x and y could actually work on both of these uh, systems these both of these equations and make it a true statement so we're looking for the intersection point so there's a few different ways to, to do this and let me just show you both of them because what we're looking for is we're going to we're going to add and we're going to subtract both of these equations from each other okay this is a system which means they share the x and y which we can do that you're looking for a, wa a way to eliminate one of the variables and i see two easy ways to do it right now and they've lined it up for us really good look at this negative three and that's a positive six let's look at our x's first if i could double this if i can make that negative six and add it negative six plus x plus 6x is going to eliminate my x's. Okay, so that's one way to do that. So let's do this. Let's just double, which is, this is something we can do here. 3x plus 5y. Now we got to double this as well. 21. So let's distribute this out. So it's going to be negative 6x plus 10y equals, and that's going to be 42. Okay, we're going to add that to this equation. The second one, we're going to keep the second one there because look what it's going to do to my x's. Negative 15. Okay, so I'm going to add these two together. Since it's a system of equations, now I've just got 9y equals, let's see, 42 minus 15, that's going to be 27. So it looks like my y equals 3. Now, that looks like the only one that actually works. How do you find the x? Well, you plug in your y into any of these, right? So I've got negative 3x plus 5. Let's do that 3 there. Equals 21. So negative 3x plus 15 equals 21. Let's subtract 15 from both sides. Negative 3x equals, let's see, that's going to be a 6, so divide by negative 3, x equals negative 2. Okay, so that works. That's one way to do it. You could have plugged in that 3 down to this one, you also would have gotten the same thing. Okay, now, you also might have seen, you know what, I don't want to do that one, but look at those. I got a positive 5y, a minus 5y. If I multiply the bottom one by 5, you can get the same thing. So watch this. We're going to do, let's multiply this by 5 and this by 5. Okay, you're going to get 30x minus 5y equals negative 75. Now let's add that to that first one. Negative 3x plus 5y equals 21. Okay, add those together. That's going to cancel out, which is what we're looking for, 27x equals, it's going to be a negative 54, right? Divide both sides by 27. What are you going to get? x equals negative 2, which you could have gotten if you just plugged in that 3. But either way, it's a system of equations. It's going to work every single time. So my answer here is going to be b, negative 2, 3.